Hey guys, welcome back to another podcast with Boy Arms. On this one, it is a combined 11. Obviously, Tottenham v Man City. Massive game. Obviously, I gave my prediction in a previous video. This game can go anywhere. So, obviously, I'm going to start at the back. For me, Edison and goal. I mean, Hugo Lloris, obviously, is decent and all that. But obviously, Edison, with that ability to play with his feet a little bit better than Lloris can, spreading the ball and that, I'm going to have to pick Edison. Back four, I've gone for Jao Cancelo at right back. I mean, Kyle Walker's a beast in that, I know, but from what I've been seeing in the poor performances that I've been going through, every time Cancelo plays, he's doing well, mate. Like, he's banging in goals as well, he's doing well for Portugal. He is starting for City, obviously, they're putting Walker all over the place as well. I'm going with Jao Cancelo anyway. Two, two defenders in the back, in the middle. Ruben Diaz and Toby Alderweireld. Alderweireld speaks for himself. I mean, he's probably the best out of both teams in their squad, and apart from Laporte. For me, Alderweireld is the next name on that sheet. So he goes straight in. Ruben Diaz, I feel he has just a little bit more than Nathan Ake at the minute, even though he's new to the Prem, he's still adjusting, but he looks like he's settled in fairly well. A left back, no contest for me, Sergio Reguilón. Reguilón, I mean, he came from Real Madrid, had a blasting season on loan, I think it was at Sevilla or something. Um, great acquisition by Tottenham, exactly what they needed for their fullback position, and he's doing well for them there. So, midfield, I've gone for 4 2 3 1. So, my two holding midfielders is, again, straight in the team, no matter what, Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne fits in there, no matter what team you pick, he's, always, he's the best midfielder in the world. End of. And on Bele alongside him, I've gone for because I know there's Gundogan, Phil Foden, Harry Winks, all them players, but nah, at least Endon Bele gives a little bit more rigidity, you know, like he's a bit more strong in the back, he can cover, he can sweep a little bit better, especially with De Bruyne at free playing the ball around and that. So I put him alongside there. The three in front of him. Sterling on left wing, Son on right wing. You've got Pace, Trickery, Flair, as much as you want on those sides. In the middle, I've gone for Gareth Bale. I find it very hard pressed to not include Bale into a team, to be honest, because, I mean, whether he's still acclimatising to the fitness, whether he's still trying to get back to his full strength, whatever it may be, the guy's a baller, always will be. He's always going to bang goals here and there, always provide something different for the team. Has to go in. And obviously at top, up top, Harry Kane. I mean, the guy's by far one of the best strikers in the Premier League. He's been up there consistently, season after season. I know there's Sergio Aguero, but Sergio Aguero is currently injured or coming back for injury, so I'm still going to put Harry Kane ahead of him due to his youngness as well. Obviously, Kane's younger. I mean, the guy scored 200 goals in 300 appearances now. Like, the guy's just a machine. Gotta be in that team for me. Anyways, obviously, that's my team. Let me know back up online on the comments down below what you think, whether this is the best team or who you'd put in, who you'd take out whether this would be the formation. Love to hear from you. Obviously, like and subscribe. It means more to us than you think. Football is life.